Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today, as promised, we're going to do a video showing you how to make different liveries or skins for, well, any different plane. We'll do the F-18 because that's just the most popular plane. But um, what we're showing with that will apply exactly to all of the other planes. So let's get on it. Now, there's probably different ways of doing it. And I'm just going to show you how I do it. I'm by no means an expert at it, but, you know, this method works. So uh, let's get started. First, Internet... Uh, File Explorer, whatever it's called, and look for the installation of DCS, wherever that is. So for me, that's on my E drive SSD, DCS World, and Core Mods, and Aircraft, and F 18, and Liveries, and Hornet, and Stop. So we can't just make a skin from scratch, that is literally impossible. So what we're going to do is we're going to find of these uh, ones that are these basic ones that are in DCS as standard what's the closest to what we want and we're going to use that as a template and then we're going to build off that to make our one if you don't want to use any of these there's ones that you can download from the ED website and you can use that as a base they tend to be a bit tampered with and a bit messed about so personally I prefer to use these which are all you know 100% in the right format so we're going to use today ba -ba -ba, no idea what Finland is 21 but that sounds cool control C for copy then we need to go and find where our saved games folder is. Now that is not the same place as where the game is installed. It's usually on your C drive somewhere, but it may differ for everyone. So you have to know where your own saved game folder is. I can't tell you. I'll show you where mine is. C drive. Users. That's my user. That's my name. Are we different for you? Saved games. DTS. Libraries. If there's not a liveries folder in there already, make a liveries, spell it like that. Then you'll get all the different aircraft names. Now, take a screenshot of this and create their folder exactly as I've got it. They won't, these folders won't be in there, so create them and spell them exactly as I've got there. If you spell them differently, then they don't work. Uh, F-18C Hornet. And these are the different liveries we've got here. So we're going to paste our folder, and that's Finland21. <clears throat> and I want to change the name of that to... Uh, what are we going to call this? We're going to call it Supercap, obviously. So this is the Supercap F-18 skin we're making. Let's go into Supercap. What we've got here is a master file description. This is a, just a text file, well, kind of a text file, and it links any... What it does is it tells DCS which, um, which uh, picture files to use. So you've got these picture files here, but that's not all of them. There will be other picture files that are required to make that F-18. So... Uh, maybe I'll explain better if I go in here. Now, it looks like a notepad file. It is not a notepad file. Do not try and open it with notepad. You will corrupt it. Use notepad++. It's the thing I'm looking at down here. It's free and available to everyone, so make sure you get that. I'm going to move that in there. And here it is. So here's the master file. I, I'm not a computer programmer, as you know, so I can't explain this properly. But this basically links together all of the different um, picture files that are made to make this skin. Now, from memory, if it's a, let me try and remember here, if it's a false, so that's a skin, that's a skin, that's a skin, if it's a false, then it's picking it from this file folder here, so it's one of these skins. If it's a true, uh, like we've got a true down here for the pilot, for the pilot, then it's picking it out of the pre, uh, how do you explain it, out of a massive zip file that is comes with in the game in the e-drive in this case it's like a, a like a 50 gig zip file where all of the standard unmodified textures are for dcs i'm probably not explaining that quite as well but that's my understanding of it so that one there is explaining one of these files here and it's telling you how to apply it to the you know the 3d mesh and that one there the pilot f18 is not taking it out of here it's taking it out of the generic zip file in the dcs world folder and do not be tempted to go and edit that zip file you will just corrupt it and ruin it only edit these things here which are designed to be edited in the saved games okay that's that and yeah and that's another thing don't go and edit the ones in d in the dcs world game folder you'll just mess something up copy them and add them here as i've said these are designed to be edited these are designed to be messed up and cocked around within this folder here it doesn't matter if you mess them up so make sure it's very important to do that unless you want to start corrupting your DCS. Right, next name has to, well, should match up really with your folder name. Supercap doesn't have to, but you should do, otherwise it's going to get confusing. Supercap, countries. These are the countries that it will be available for. For God's sake, don't put a country. Delete that 
and then it will default to allow allow them all countries to use this so delete that now all countries can use this skin that's just the way you should do it otherwise it would just be a pain in the ass okay um save that's the uh, spider file done now we need to edit the pictures now these are dds files dds files uh, you probably know better than me to be honest but they are not just picture files they are mip map files what's a mip map um probably best if i show in the picture editor picture editor use photoshop or gimp i use gimp because it's free so i can't see it there it is hello gimp let's start that up and we're up <clears throat> so let's go get going gimp you have the main picture file here uh, with the various options you have the toolbox here where you can add text and stretch things and skew things and take colors and zoom in and stuff like that you also have the tool options here so every tool that you have here you'll have the ability to add the change the options of it here and the layers everything in gimp and photoshop is done with layers you have to understand layers before you can get this to work okay um so what i'm going to do is we're going to edit this one this is the uh top of the wings and fuselage i think drag it in there load dds because we're going to import a dds what do you want yes yes to everything yes load mip maps okay that's that now if we look in the layers we can see there's several layers you've got the main uh, which is the high resolution picture 4k or 1080 whatever it is i can't remember um, and then you've got the mip maps mip maps are shrunk down versions so you shrink by half shrink by a quarter shrink by eighth shrink by 16 32 64 one two eight and i can't count any higher than that all the way down the reason that is is for a 3d game any 3d game you have mip maps so that the further you get away from the aircraft in dcs world the smaller the mip map that it uses and that means it's less so it's using one of these smaller mip maps it's using less graphics memory what you don't want to do is render an aircraft two miles away with this 4k surface it's just just a complete waste of processing power gpu power okay so that's standard do not mess around with these mip maps never touch any of them only touch the main surface okay so we've got the main surface in here that's the layer we've got selected so let's do some teeing to it so um just trying to work out what's what <clears throat> you'll have to figure out what's what yourself i'm gonna make an assumption uh, it's actually harder than it looks um well i'm gonna guess that is the top of the wing there um or would that be the top of the wing I've sat here for a while and looked at this and i can't actually figure out what's what so you've just got to sit here and trial and error and figure out what's what i'm going to guess that's the top of the wing even though it's darker but yeah we'll give it a go so let's write some stuff on it no i've changed my mind that's the top of the wing there because it's lighter it would be makes sense if it's lighter on top wouldn't it so let's go um um put some text so I'll click on text i'm going to drag a text box there Pew. i'm going to write in the text box super cap uh, text is a bit small left control and a to select all oh, change the size now super cap and i want it um bold where's the bold gone but oh, there it is it's up there look pion super cap that is that so then i'm going to click off there uh, escape next i want to add some pictures i can't actually remember how to do this I'm just i haven't done this for about a year so let me think uh, if we go to uh, we've got some pictures here oh some good pictures who <laughs> you got me <laughs> that's funny as frig there we go we're gonna put me there oh this is fun isn't it uh we're gonna move me to there hey maybe i'll keep the skin who knows uh is that stretch 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 come on baby there you are work stretch me out scale Pion, beautiful um obviously we want kim on there because nothing would be the same without kim so that's perfect let's move him um pew. we want twat face macron of course we do socialist scumbag let's have him pew pew uh michael knight obviously no actually he's green screen michael sorry you ain't coming Putin, the power monger. We're going to have him. Putin's. He's going to share that with Kim, and he's going to know he's going to be looking at Kim. Now, notice these are all layers that I've put in. Look, it's created all these layers, and that's how it works. It means that you can then go in and move a layer about, and that's how modern picture editing works. Okay, 
So Putin's looking at Kim. Cap is scouring at Macron, and that is super cap. And that's everything uh, I'm going to do. I can't be bothered to edit, edit, edit anything else. In fact, why don't we just fill some stuff out? Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, you guys can learn this better than me. There's no point in me trying to teach you how to do this anymore. Next, um, you cannot export it like this. It's currently in a layered format, which is great for GIMP, bad for DCS. So we need to merge the layers into the main surface. Only the main surface, not the mipmap surface. So, Supercap, right-click, and can you see it? Merge, face, merge, Kim, merge, Macron, Ugh. merge, Putin. Merge. Now these are merged. I can't move them about anymore. They are part of that layer. They are part of that picture, bitmap, whatever you want to call it. So now we need to export it. Uh, in fact, why don't we save it? Um, save it as a GIMP only version, first of all. So save only. And we're going to save it in the SuperCap directory. And um, I'm going to call it this here. And it's an XTF because that's just a GIMP thing. So the DCS will just ignore this. It's just a GIMP name. Save. Papa. Next, we need to export it as a DDS4 blah, 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 um, DCS. So, file, ex mm, can't remember. Export as, I think. Yep. Um, it wants to be a d -d 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 DDS. It wants to be sugar dugger. Which one is it? It was that one. Diff2. It was that one there, I believe. Copy over that. Export. Yes, I want to replace it. Right, very important. Compression. You will have to put compression. If you don't put compression on, then it will just be a massive file, and DC and uh, DCS will handle it, but it will take like all of your RAMs. So don't. So make sure you do it. I don't know any of this means, so I just choose the first one. Uh, yep. Bu -bu -bu -bu. Mitmaps. You must have bitmaps for DCS to work properly. Generate mitmaps automatically. So what it will do is just generate the sized out versions of the new main surface that you've done. Okay. Give it a minute. Lots of processing to be done. And it's done. Get rid of GIMP. Get rid of GIMP again. Let's go to the where it is. Users, me, where save games. Mm, where liveries, Hornet, Supercap, and there you can see. Um, and you can do a sanity check to make sure it's roughly the right size. It's 10.6 megabytes down there. And this one here is 10.6 as well. So, yep, yeah, it's the right size. We've got the GIMP thing in there, but that's not going to affect anything. Right. We're all done. Proof of the pudding. DCS. Pew. Okay. Mission editor. Pew. Okay. Let's put a F18 there. Let's make him go there. Um, F18. Make it drivable, yo. Take off them stupid pylons. Remove. 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 I think they're already removed. They are. Skin. Super cap. Oh, I did it on the bottom. <laughs> stupid super cap. Hey, take those pylons off. I said take them off. Hmm. Weird. Okay, let's try that. No. I want to be him. Okay, load the cockpit. In your own time. There. Flip belly upside down. Pop. Look outside. <laughs> she. And there, sir, is your super cap super skin. So. I haven't really got much more to say than that. Just learn it like I did by playing around, having fun. Um, you can use the filter option in one of the menus, which is to, it allows you to select an area of skin and change the color filter on it. That's the best way I found of changing colors, so rather than trying to paint your own color, uh, because then you can keep all these rivets and stuff like that and, and lines. So um, experiment with that. Put your text on, put your pictures on, and have fun. And like I said, exactly the same way you can go and do the other aircraft. Just get the syntax right. Hope that helps. And see y'all later.